my name is Shahid Bashir and uh, in this video I will tell you about the significance of research so as like my previous video I will continue with one another example so one thing I must clarify that a research can be significant in terms of its contribution that is theoretical as well as practical so in terms of theory okay let's go back to the research purpose Okay, this was the research purpose to examine the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention. So, just see, any of this variable, does it lie in any sort of important theory? For example, the concept of purchase intention is used as a variable in the theory of purchase behavior oh sorry theory of planned behavior and theory of reason action that was proposed by fishbein and edgen so so what i will say that the theoretical contribution such as academic support of theory of planned behavior used in this study contribute to the body of knowledge okay and then blah 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 okay secondly another academic contribution which says that due to lack of prior research in this area a two-stage research design is proposed for this study stage one consists of a literature review to explore and identify a suitable theoretical framework for this study in stage two an online survey will be conducted to gather data to test the hypothesis the methodological insight used in this study will contribute to the body of research knowledge specifically in malaysia so now we have Okay, one thing I will tell you that don't get confused with the complexity of the research. So make things as easy as possible and just understood that the reader of your study have to understand all the concepts more precisely. So now anybody can ask you why you are conducting this particular research so you might have some fair answers and this should be theoretical or academic and practical so okay now coming to the managerial or practical functions saying that the findings of this study also impact many managerial function in e-business of malaysia so first this study would help malaysian e-business in developing strategies to reduce the specific type of perceived risk found to negatively influence trust thereby engendering consumer trust in web vendors and ultimately increasing online sales in malaysia so then blah 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 blah, blah. lastly we have government and or policy makers can use this information to promote online business by improving the infrastructure and regulation of the internet coverage fraud prevention and to address security and privacy issues this will facilitate and encourage more consumer participation in buying and selling product online so this is as precise 
or I can say as clear as possible so anybody would read can easily understand the reason behind why you are conducting a particular research thank you very much and thanks for watching